Hey, what's going on the best friends and family of YouTube? I just wanted to give you guys an update on the evolution. Just because I've been getting asked some questions um, online on how it's going. The community is great so far and we kind of all feed off each other because they only made 2,000 of these things from what I can gather. So uh, once someone gets one starts posting it, we become friends very quickly. So I don't know if any of them are subscribed to me yet on YouTube, but I've been getting messages through uh, Instagram mainly. But uh, here it is in its former glory. Um, as you can see, I did pol I'm just gonna go through all the changes that I've done so far with it. Um, the first one, obviously it's polished and it is like a mirror finish. This thing came out perfectly within reason, of course, but like the front bumper shiny, the whole car is shiny. Um, I was kind of worried it wouldn't come out as good as it did just because they usually don't from Japan, just because of sun and uh, like burnt in water spots. And thankfully all the, like the sun baked spots have, have come out. The only spots that didn't come out were on the bumper. Like it looks like maybe bug guts that got etched into the paint on a hot day or a hot week and they didn't wash it. But other than that, this thing came out super nice. It was repainted at some point in its life because you could see um, the clear coat kind of overspray into the door jam. Um, but I don't, uh, I don't care about that really. And then here, they did a repair, whether it was a small collision or a uh, a rust repair. Um, you can see a little bit of clear coat kind of overextending the area. And you can tell it's new clear coat. Can't really pick it up on uh, camera, but it's like right here. So, and this is the one that if you feel underneath, you can feel a whole bunch of a whole bunch of gunk. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to dig more into this. Whatever it is. Yeah. We'll have to dig more into that and see what it is, but I'm gonna fix it eventually. Interiors stayed roughly the same. It's really good interior. Uh, that double din will be getting replaced, obviously, sooner than later. And I do wanna get a boost gauge soon and a uh, wide band. So here's the trunk. Here's the carbon fiber Evo 8, Evo 9 wing. As you guys can see. Phone cut out again. So here's the carbon fiber wing. And so you can see both angles here. Just came out really nice, the polish. Like really, really nice. Took out, there was a lot of scratches here and below that my polish was able to get out. There's a larger one here that I wasn't. But other than that, she came out really nice. Um, I refinished the wiper blades because pretty much every vehicle from Japan is going to have um, sun baked or sun damaged faded wiper arms. So those are a nice brilliant black now. And the cowl is back. I used my uh, my solution that I usually use, the Chemical Guys VRP, I think it's called. And that alone does wonders for the vehicle. Um, on top of that, the wheels have been replaced. So if you recall, I had these horrendous 16s that didn't fit like at all factory spec. Um, these ones are closer to factory spec due to the width and the, uh, and the height, but, um, they are a plus 40. So with the current um, spacers on it now. I do rub when I have full turn there and I rub on the back over larger bumps. So I actually have a set of eight mil spacers coming. They should be here today at some point. And once they're here, they should on paper fix everything and they should still work. It'll be a plus 32, which is better fitment um, than factory. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Evo where I'm at. Like I said, I've been getting asked about it. So hopefully the people who are asking me are on my on my YouTube channel. And uh, there's lots more coming for this thing. So stay tuned. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, 
a thumbs up and check out other videos on the channel and subscribe. All right, everybody. Peace.